workout 17 is for time complete 100 hip thrusts 75 v-sits 50 grounds overhead and 25 box jumps as fast as possible Today's workout, a little bit of everything. We're starting off with hip thrusts. So with the floor, get yourself laid down completely flat on your back. You're gonna pull your heels to your bum as much as you can. Your feet are gonna be about shoulder width. And then from here, we're just gonna put the object on our hips. Head's gonna come back, pull your shoulder blades back. And then from there, we're just gonna drive our hips up as high as we can and then come back down until we touch the floor. Now it's gonna be quite easy with this movement to just sort of have a short range of motion, but you want it to really drive up as high as you can so you get that glute squeeze at the top. Movement, so this is one that we've done uh, quite a few times now, V-sit, starting with your feet on the floor, hands behind your back or behind your head, and then you're gonna fire up, keeping your legs as straight as you can, and fold in directly in the middle. Scale that down to normal sit-ups or you can just bring your legs into a crunched position to add a little bit of variety. 50 grams overhead, so quite a lot of reps. Each rep with this one now, we want to be um, alternate arms as well, so it's not just all on one arm. I'm not looking for speed with this, just efficiency. So from the floor, Pull yourself nice and tight. You can either go for a dumbbell snatch, straight up, or you can go for a clean and then a push press or push jerk. Up to you for that one. As long as it goes from the floor every time to touching the top. Change at the top or change at the bottom for changing your arms. Right, now the last one, new movement which we've added in. Um, you have to be careful with this. It's a box jump, or you can jump on any object you've got around the house, really. Cupboard, sofa, anything. But when you do jump on it, obviously make sure first, beforehand, that it is solid enough and it's not going to slip or drive away. Now, when you drop, when you're going for your box jump, feet to shoulder, uh, just below your hips. Just going to dip, bring your arm back, and then drive up to catch him in this position and then just standing it up so we locked out every time be careful take your time it is only 25 reps so by this point it's only a little bit left until the end of the finish line 